Dear students, now we are going to discuss architecture of 8085 microprocessor in detail. 8085 is an 8-bit microprocessor developed by Intel Corporation in 1977. Okay, this is the architecture of 8085 microprocessor. It has important functional units that is interrupt control serial input output ports and here accumulator flag register, arithmetic and logic unit, instruction decoder and machine cycle encoding, instruction register, then the register array, address buffer, address data buffer and timing control unit. These all are the important functional units in this architecture. There is a control line which can control the function of all the blocks. Do you all understand? So here this single line represents the control line which can control the operations of all the blocks. Okay, there is a double line which can represent the bus. Bus is nothing but the group of lines which can carry the data as well as the address. If it carries the data, it is called as data bus, it is bidirectional. If it carries the address, it is called as address bus, it is unidirectional. Do you all understand? So here the 8085 is an 8-bit microprocessor. It can deal with 8-bit data. So here it is 8-bit internal bus. Okay. So let's discuss each block in detail here. The first one is interrupt control. Okay. So as we know that 8085 has 5 interrupts. One is TAP, RST 5.5, RST 6.5, RST 7.5, INTR. There's five are the interrupts used in this 8085 microprocessor. There is one acknowledgement from this microprocessor. That's why we can give that arrow mark outside. INTA bar. Okay. So we have already discussed the signals in detail in the previous lecture video. That is pin diagram concept. Right. The next one is serial input output control. Which can control the serial data communication. There are two signals. SID and SOD. SID means serial input data. SOD means serial output data control. Okay. So next come to this accumulator. Okay. So here accumulator is an 8-bit register which can hold the data mainly used for this ALU operation. Here this ALU is nothing but arithmetic logic unit which can perform Arithmetic operations as well as logical operations. Arithmetic operation means addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, increment, decrement like that. Logical means AND operation, OR operation, NOT operation. Okay. So that is dealing with the bit. Okay. So next one is flag register. So here in 8085 there are 5 flags used. Okay. Actually this flag is a 8 bit register but only 5 bits are defined. Okay. So what are the flags we can discuss later and then temporary register. So if we want to perform addition, subtraction, any operation, we need to have two inputs for that one is from this accumulator, the another one is from this temporary register. So this temporary register is hold the data temporarily for this operation, arithmetic and logical operation, okay. So next, instruction register, it is an 8-bit register which is used to store the instruction code. That instruction code can be decoded by using this instruction decoder. Do you all understand? And then register array, it is very important one. It has 6 general purpose registers B, C, D, E, H and L. Each one is 8-bit register. We can... Use this register as a 16-bit register by making this as a pair. So here valid pairs are B, C, D, E, H, L. Okay. So here multiplexer is there that is used to multiplex the lower byte of address lines and the data lines. Okay. So for that we can use this multiplexer. Okay. So the next one is. SP that is stack pointer. It is a 16-bit register used for stack related operations. Okay. Then the PC. PC means program counter. It is very important register here. 
because it is a 16 bit register used to store the address of the next instruction to be executed by the cpu do you all understand so that's what program counter okay so next address buffer address data buffer buffer means temporary storage area for this address lines here the multiplexed address and data lines can be stored okay the next important part is timing and control unit so this unit has clock signals control signals status signals direct memory access signals reset signals okay so here 8085 requires 3 megahertz for its system clock so it can be generated by using crystal oscillator the crystal oscillator is connected between this two points x1 and x2 and can generate the clock signal if any other device is connected with the cpu this microprocessor we can send the clock signal to that particular device also okay for that we can use this clock out so next one is ready signal so ready signal is mainly used to ensure that the microprocessor is ready to receive and transmit the data okay so next control signals there are three control signals read bar write bar and ale okay then status signals s0 s1 io bar m bar direct memory access signals are hold hlda and then reset signals reset in and reset out microprocessor requires plus 5 volt for its operation so we need to give this plus 5 volt and the another pin is grounded here okay and the functional units are alu that is arithmetic and logic unit register array timing and control unit address data buffer interrupt control serial input output control okay let's discuss each block in detail here arithmetic logic unit that is alu it is used to perform arithmetic and logical operations on 8 bit data arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication etc logical means logical and or not complement etc okay so the next one is accumulator Accumulator is an 8-bit register used to hold the data for arithmetic and logic unit operations, okay. So, temporary register is also an 8-bit register used to hold the data temporarily during ALU operations. Next one is register array. It is having general purpose register B, C, D, E, H and L, 16-bit program counter and 16-bit stack pointer, okay. There are 6 8-bit general purpose registers available B, C, D, E, H and L. This register can act as 16-bit register as pair like B, C, D, E and H, L. We cannot make a pair like B and E. Okay, so we have to make a pair like this B, C, D, E and H, L. Okay, so next one is program counter it is a 16 bit register used to store the memory location of the next instruction to be executed. So it is used to store the address of the next instruction to be executed. It is very important one. So next stack pointer SP it is a 16 bit register used for stack operation. Example push and pop related instruction can be executed by using the stack pointer. Okay. Instruction register and decoder. So here instruction register is an 8 bit register that stores the instruction code from the memory location and it decodes that code to get that information. Okay. So next one is flag register. So here it is important one. It is an 8 bit register. It depends on the result stored in the accumulator so this flag register can be affected by the result of that arithmetic logic unit so this is the structure of flag register there are eight bits but only five flags are used the remaining three bits are not defined okay there are five flags carry flag parity flag auxiliary carry flag zero flag and sign flag so you have to remember 80, 85 has 5 flags, carry flag, parity flag, axillary carry, 0 and sign flag. Okay. Next one is timing and control unit. 
It is used to control the operations performed by the processor and the devices connected to the processor. So it can control the overall functionalities of this processor. Timing and control signals are listed here. Control signals. There are three control signals. ALE, read bar, write bar. Status signals. S0, S1, IO bar, M bar. Direct memory access signals. Hold and HLDA. Reset signals. Reset in, reset out. Clock signals. X1, X2, clock out. Supply signals. VCC, that is plus 5 volt. And one as ground signal. Okay. So the next one is interrupt control unit. As you all know that interrupt means it is an event which can stop the processor temporarily and performs some specific task that is called as interrupt service routine. So here when an interrupt occurs, the processor transfers the control from main program to interrupt service routine. After completing the task, the control goes back to the main program. Okay. So in 1885, there are five interrupts, trap RST 7.5, RST 6.5, RST 5.5 and INTR. There is one acknowledgement signal for this interrupt, INTA bar. Next one is serial input output control. It controls the serial data communication. Correct. So here two signals are used to control the serial communication. One is serial input data, another one is serial output data. Then the address buffer and address data buffer. As we know that buffer is a temporary storage area to communicate with the CPU and memory and also the input output devices. Okay. So from this we can get the address bus and data bus. The data bus carries 8-bit data and it is bi-directional. Address bus carries the address of that memory locations and it is unidirectional one. Okay.